So this is going to be completely up to, of course, up to each person to do whatever they want with this information. I'm just going to present it before people. And um, this just came out yesterday. Um, so I would highly encourage everybody, and I hope and pray that everybody is really doing a deep reflection on uh, on what is going on right here and with everything that's going on in the world. So on Friday, Donald Trump announced his appointment with MS, we'll just call him MS, a former executive with executive with vaccine manufacturer, that word, to lead Operation Warp Speed, Trump's plan to fast track the development of vaccines for COVID-19. Slough will serve in a volunteer position assisted by Army General Gustav per per Perma, Perna, the commander of the United States Army Material Command. According to Trump's administration, Operation Warp Speed program is focused on four vaccines with the hopes of testing and producing 100 million doses by October 2020. 200 million by December and 300 million by January. Slau believes that the goal of the vaccines by January 2021 is a credible goal. So, I know stuff might be boring, you guys, but um, you might want to read this. We're going to get down to here where it starts talking about, where is it, um, the bio electronic medicine using a miniaturized implantable devices that can modify the ele that's what you want to you want to stick around for this one okay i'll make it as quick as possible operation warp speed and the calls for public private partnerships mimic the national in national institutes of health's recent call for bringing together pharmaceutical companies to develop a vaccine for covid-19 Accelerating COVID-19 therapeutic interventions and vaccines partnership emphasizes on a collaborative framework for prioritizing vaccine and drug candidates, streamlining clinical trials, coordinating regulatory processes, and or leveraging assets among all partners to rapidly respond to the COVID-19 and future pandemics. Remember, you guys, look up what pandemic also means. Trump also told Fox Business that because of the massive job to get this vaccine, the military is now being mobilized. We're going to be able to give it a, a lot to a lot of people very, very rapidly, Trump, Trump concluded. At Friday's press conference, Trump said that his team had been working 24 hours a day to develop treatments for COVID-19. Despite the heavy focus on vaccines, Trump did state that his administration is working on other treatments, including, quote, therapeutics. It's not solely vaccine-based. Other things have, have never had a vaccine and they go away. Other things have never had a vaccine and they go away. I don't people to think this is all dependent on a vaccine, but it would be tremendous, Trump stated. And then you can read this. All right, so this person, now we're going to get into the other stuff. And then we're going to get into this company and what they're doing. Um, so, actually, you guys can just stop this, stop the video right now and just read this. You guys, this is very, very important information, okay? So, following his education, Slow joined the, the pharmaceutical interest. This is the man that the, the president appointed, you guys, serving on the board of directors of GlaxoSmithKline, whatever. 
between 2006 and 2015, Slough served in several senior research development roles with GlaxoSmithKline during his time with the company, including chairman of Global Vaccines. More recently, Slough sits on the board of pharmaceutical companies and biometric biotechnology organizations. He is also a partner with this company, chairman of the board at this company, chairman of the board at this, and sits at the boards of this, human vaccines projects and modern therapeutics. Each of these companies is involved in vaccine development and the merging fields of bioelectronics. So you guys, this person, okay, that the president has appointed, okay, this person that is going to be heading one of the heads for this vaccine, right, the people who's going to probably have a huge influence on what is going to happen okay bioelectronic medicine is a relatively new research field focused on tackling chronic diseases by using miniaturized implantable devices that can modify electronic signals that pass along the nerves in the body including irregular altered impulse impulses that occur in many illnesses okay now you can stop the video and read this and this okay now this is the company that he is involved in okay it's called Galvani bio electronics all right so when you go to this company, his comp one of the companies he's head at, this is the About Us part of the page. Dedicated to the development of bioelectronic medicines, a new class of medicines consisting of miniaturized implantable devices. You can stop the video and read this. Do with this information as you will. Here's their mission values. You can pause the video and read that. Pause the video and read that. And I don't know if this is somebody related to the Rothschild, I, who knows, but these are the people involved in that. And then, this is the other company that this man is heading, that he's involved in, that's working on the vaccine for COVID-19. So, um, you guys, you can, uh, of course, do whatever you want with this information and think whatever you want, but this has just literally just came out yesterday you can stop the video and read this but this is what trump had this just came out on friday and this is just this is all recent stuff you guys and these are the people that are in charge of coming up with this thing and president trump You've seen it. it. He just literally said this. 
is the military is now being mobilized and we're going to be able to give it to a lot of people very, very rapidly, Trump concluded. And it is not solely based, vaccine based, other things have never had a vaccine and then they go away. Okay, so I guess he might have already, I guess, heard about these, um, these things, these micro miniaturized uh, implantable devices. So, um, you guys, I would really consider, I would really think about this. God bless.